Hi everyone, in today's lesson we're going to talk about more word problems involving logs. And this time we're going to talk about compounding interest n times per year. Here's the formula, just like the one we worked with yesterday, where P is your initial value, A is your new value or ending amount, R is the rate, N is the number of times we are compounding something, and T is the years. So let's look at an example. So it says that Nick invests $1,000 at Chase Bank, offering a 2% interest rate. Find the amount of the investment to the nearest cent at the end of five years if it's compounded each one of these five ways. So first we have to understand the word annual. And let's write down what it means. Annual just means once a year. So one time per year. Okay, semi-annual means two times per year. Quarterly means four times per year. Think about it as you get your report cards. You get four report cards for every quarter, so four times per year. Monthly is 12 times per year. Okay, because there are 12 months in a year. And daily is 365 days, or 365 times per year. We don't include leap years for those that are wondering. Okay, so what is this part of the formula when it says I'm compounding something one time per year? That is the N. N is the number of times I'm compounding something or calculating the interest. So here, n would equal 1. Here, n would equal 2. n would equal 12. n would equal 4. And then here, n would equal 365. So the question is, Nick is investing this $1,000, and they want to know at the end of five years, where would he make more money? Well, first they want to know how much money would he make in each one. So you tell me right now. Where do you think he's going to make more money if they compound the interest or calculate the interest once a year or versus 365 days a year? The answer is that the more times you compound, so 365, the more money you should make. So annually is the worst. Semi-annually is a little bit better. Quarterly, monthly, and daily is actually the best. So we could say the best, okay, where annually would be the worst. So I'm going to do the annual one with you, and maybe the semi-annual one, and then I'm going to ask you to do the rest. So the formula is A equals, P is your principal, so I'm starting with 1,000, 1 plus the rate. The rate is 2%. Again, we always put it in as a decimal, so 0 0.02 over N, N is 1, to the 1 times Five. I did five because five is the amount of years that they want. Okay? So this formula we can actually simplify before we put it into the calculators. So A equals 1,000, 1 plus 0 0.02 to the fifth. Hey, this formula should look familiar to you. Isn't this the formula from yesterday? All right. So let's put that into the calculator just the way you see it and round your answer to the nearest cent. I'll meet you at an answer in a little bit. Please pause the video. Okay, so you should have gotten approximately $1,104.08. Okay, now what if we are compounding something semi-annually, which is twice a year? So A equals 1,000, that's not going to change. 1 plus 0.02, the rate's not changing. Now the only thing that's going to change here is my n. My n is 2. I am compounding this thing 2 times a year. So 2 times 5. All right. Now since we have the older calculators, I want us to put this in simplified, but not just straight away. So I'd like everybody to simplify inside here and simplify here. So I want a equals 1,000, some fraction, to the 10th power. Okay, so type this into the calculator and then get me a fraction. Okay, 
Uh, you can actually get me a decimal. I'm sorry. It seemed to work nicely. So we could put this as 1.01. .01. If you got a fraction, it was 101 over 100, but that's fine. Uh, now please put this into the calculator, just the way you see it. And let's get an answer to the nearest cent. Okay, I got $1,104.62. So look how close these two are. You can compound it twice a year or once a year, but twice a year just gives you a little bit more. All right, let's see if we increase the number of compounds to 4 or to 12 or to 365. So please take a minute, pause the video entirely, and try these three pieces. Okay, here are my answers. I just would like to point out for the monthly, I used a fraction here because when I added 1 plus 0.02 over 12. I got that repeating decimal thing we talked about in the last video. So please make sure anytime you have a repeating decimal, you're going to use that reduced fraction. And this one, I couldn't even get into a, a fraction. So I just wrote out all of the decimal places to be the most accurate. So let's just analyze for a minute. The daily compounding obviously gave them the best rate, by, but look, not by much. So after five years, this person has only made a $105 in interest versus $104. Now, the reason why this is a bad example is because the interest rate is so low. But to be completely honest with you, the interest rates nowadays are less than 1%. So I don't know which is worse. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next page. Okay, let's see if we can figure out how many years it will take Nick to make $1,500 if his money is compounded quarterly. All right, same example as before. So we want to know A equals P 1 plus R over N to the NT power. So A in this case is now 1,500. P is 1,000, what we start with. My rate is still 0.02. Now n this time is quarterly, so n is 4 to the 4 times t. We want to figure out how many years. So all we're going to do is like we did before. First, let's simplify what's in here. So take a minute and type that into the calculator. Okay, so I got 1,500 equals 1,000, 1 1.005 to the 4t. So we should be analyzing this equation. We want to solve for an exponent. So we have to isolate the base, drop it like a tot, and use logs. So let's divide by 1,000. So put in 1,500 divided by 1,000. And you should get 1 1.5 and 1.005 to the 4t power. Let me finish it up here. So we're going to log both sides. So log of 1.5. We're going to take the power, drop it like a tot. So 4t times log of 1.005. Okay. Now we're going to divide this here in two steps. So divide log of 1.005 on both sides. Okay. So 4t is equal to this. All right, I got approximately 81.29, dot, 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 dot. So I'm keeping all those values in the calculator and just hitting dividing by 4. So my T, or my years, is approximately 20.32. So we'll say approximately 20 years it will take for Nick to make only $500 in interest. So if this interest rate were a lot higher, he would make more money more quickly. All right? So take a minute, see if you could do B and C, pause the video, and then hit resume when you're finished for the solutions. Okay, here are your answers. Take a minute, copy down whatever you didn't get right, um, and jot down some questions that you might have and come into class tomorrow with them. All right, have a good night.